Hello and thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the Real Movie Podcast. I want to rank the characters in the TV show Friends from my least favorite to my most favorite. And without further ado, let's go. Number six, Ross Geller. Oh, I'm sorry. Dr. Ross Geller, played by David Schumer. Ross Geller might be one of the worst protagonists in any sitcom ever. I know that people might say that the TV show Friends does not have protagonists, but just search that David Schumer is on the screen more than anyone. So he is the protagonist. Ross is superbly narcissistic. He is so overprotective of Monica and Rachel, especially Rachel. He is extremely jealous and he is a cheater. He did cheat on Julie and he did cheat on Rachel. There is a trait in his character that I really hated the most. He always demanded and expected others to do stuff for him and I never saw him return the favor. Not the same exact thing. People need other things. But you can't expect to have friends and they do everything for you and you give nothing in return. So yeah, he is a toxic person. He is superbly spoiled. He is really unprofessional. To give you an example, he dated a student while he was a university teacher. He blackmailed this student's father and he starts speaking with another accent, which is kind of, you could say, racist because he wasn't comfortable. And the final thing that I don't like, Ross Keller, he's here in my list, is that he's irresponsible. There are so many things that come to my mind. I give you only one example. He was secretly married to Rachel without telling her. And that is just messed up. Number five, Rachel Green, played by Jennifer Aniston. Rachel Green is not as bad as Ross, to be honest. She's just a spoiled girl. She's superbly spoiled. She's super sensitive. She can't take a joke, to be honest. And she really is a bad loser. We saw that on many cases. And again, this means that she is superbly spoiled. She's kind of unprofessional because no, she's not kind of unprofessional. She really is unprofessional because she did hit on the customers and she dated them. She dated co-workers. She dated her boss at one point. That is really unprofessional. She always cried. There was something about her that she always played the damsel in distress. And I really hate that about the girl. If they do this, that's a turn off for me. And finally, she really is a diva. She really has a lot of expenses. She spends lots and lots of money on everything. On clothes, on perfumes, on restaurants, on everything. She is the true definition of a diva. Whatever she is, she is for herself. And unlike Ross, she does not really hurt others. But Ross really hurt others. So, she's better than Ross. Number four, Monica Geller, played by Courtney Cox. I really liked Monica, to be honest. I always liked her, one of my favorite characters. But the reason why this character is in number four is because after she was married, it was like the show did not have anything for her to do. I think it was season six or five that she got married. And after that, she was just a housewife and she just wanted to be a mom. She didn't have an arc. That was so weird because I really liked Monica before that. And she had some relatable character traits. She was super clean. She had OCD, you could say even. She was shy, maybe, but at the same time, she was manipulative as well. So it really did make her a real character. For me, I always thought that Monica is someone that I can see in an everyday life. She wasn't just in a sitcom. She did work through everything. She did have a lot of problems. But when she got married, everything stopped. And that's why she is here. Number three, Joey Tribbiani, played by Matt LeBlanc. 
Joey Tribbiani is the best of friends. I don't mean that he is the best character in Friends. I mean he's a real good friend. He's superbly forgiving, he's generous, he's kind. He always keeps people's secrets. If you think about it, he had secrets of everyone and he never shared it with anyone. He was protective over his friends, not overprotective like Ross, but he never wanted to harm and hurt any of his friends, which was superbly cute and lovable. And most of all, he always brought joy to the group. Whenever there was a scene that Joy was not in it and others were, I just didn't like that scene. The reason why he's number three and not higher is not the reason. There are two reasons. Number one, as the show went on, Joy became more dumb. He was being dumbed down by every episode, by every season. And at the end, he became literally a pet. He didn't do anything. He was just there and he was so goddamn dumb. I don't know why did they do that. Especially when they wanted to make him and Rachel happen. That was really a rock bottom for me. The other reason that he's here is that unlike other characters of this TV show, he did not have a clear ending. I don't care that people say everyone should not have a clear ending or something like that but if you look at other characters i really feel like joey tribbiani's character is neglected and when they created a spin-off of this tv show by the name of joey that was so bad they confessed that they didn't do a good job for joey's character before i talk about my first two don't forget to like and subscribe i have to say it here because when I say number two, there is no point. So, like and subscribe now. Number two, Chandler Bing, played by Matthew Perry. Almost every actor on the TV show Friends had a great life, violent after the TV show, except for Matthew Perry. Unfortunately, I think he did not find his Monica in the real world. Matthew Perry is always the most realistic character of Friends for me. He's superbly weird. The girls really must hate such a character because his sarcasm almost never makes other people laugh. Maybe no one sees that this sarcasm is a defense mechanism even when he says that this is actually a defense mechanism because he came from a broken house. No one actually acknowledges it. and. The girls, they never laugh at his jokes. And when I talk about my real life friends, girls, they say that they don't like Chandler, which I found extremely weird and exact at the same time. Chandler had the best moments, he had the best jokes, he was the scene theater in every episode. Even after he got married, he still had something to do, he still had an arc in his character. If you remember, he did quit his job and tried to find another. So Chandler Bing is my favorite male character on the TV show Friends. Is it okay to say male character or man? Uh, it doesn't matter. Anyways, my number two is Chandler Bing. Number one, Phoebe Buffay, played by Lisa Kudrow. It has always been a surprise for me that in the real world people always say Monica or Rachel? Monica or Rachel? I really don't find it believable that no one acknowledges Phoebe. She is just the best thing in the whole TV show. She is really carefree, she is extremely funny, and she struggles for everything in the life. She struggles a lot. She had the most problems if you compare her with others, and she always kept on smiling if you look at this character she also had the weirdest arcs i mean she had her brother's triplets a brother that she did not know a few months a few years maybe one or two years before that this character is so layered it is maybe the most difficult character to play 
because she is the most unrealistic character on this show. It's actually weird now that I think about it. My first character is the most unrealistic one and the second character is the most realistic one. So my number one has to go to Phoebe because I truly, truly love her. And one more thing, Phoebe is that kind of friend that no one notices when she is around and when she is gone everyone feels something huge is missing phoebe is that kind of friend and she has that lovable trait that when one of the friends is alone with her they don't know what to talk about when they are alone with phoebe but she has to be in a group she makes one-on-one -on -one conversations weird but she is the best in a group how can someone not love phoebe buffet and yeah that's it tell me what is your ranking of the characters of friends from six to one comment down below and let me know don't forget to like and subscribe i forgot to say that as always thanks bye